Hello, and welcome to my first ever booktube video. Ah, it's so exciting. I'm on booktube now. Only took me like seven years of watching booktube, but here we are. I thought today we'd do a little, little get to know me. So we're going to start off with the booktube newbie tag, of course. I've got the questions here. I've got a cup of coffee. So let's go. Question one. Why did you start this channel? Right at the start of 2020, I got much more into blogging and I started my book Twitter and really like committed a bit more <laughs> to my bookstagram. Um, and I found there are so many things I wanted to write about or talk about that just work so much better in a video format. So I thought I would, I would give it a go. As I mentioned, I've been watching booktube for a while now looking in through the window <laughs> so i thought i'd i'd give it a go and here we are question two what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube first of all fun content let's break this down into kind of two two different things so fun i always feel like the most fun content is when you can tell someone really believes in what they're talking about or is just really passionate about what they're making and is making the kind of stuff that they want to make. Um, so I hope that that comes across naturally. As for kind of unique things, I mean, I love a wrap up. I love a reading vlog. I love all the kind of the usual things. Um, I also would like to do some sort of more deep dive things on talking about different tropes or things such as feminism and how it manifests in different genres, etc. all of those sort of things. Um, also, I love adaptations of books, so I'd love to do some talking about different adaptations of books. Just talking about the things that I think about on a regular basis that my family and friends are probably pretty fed up of me bringing up by now. <laughs> Question three, what are you most excited about for this new channel? As I sort of said before on the first question, really just a space and a way to talk about things that aren't necessarily best written in a blog post. Um, I I no longer go to university. I don't want to write 5,000 word essays on things, but I would happily talk about them for half an hour. <laughs> so that's what I'm really looking forward to is somewhere to just sort of talk about all these different things that I think about when I'm reading. Um, different things I get excited about and yeah a sort of new way a new a new lease of creative life as it were I wonder if my coffee is cool enough to drink yet not quite is the answer <laughs> question four why do you love reading there are two things that I really look for in a book and I would say that those are also the two things are why I love reading so much. So the first one, escapism. If I can just open a book and get sucked into the story and fall in love with the characters and go on that adventure with them, that that's amazing. I love that. I love when you sort of forget where you are and what's going on because you're so absorbed in the story that you're reading. The other thing is, kind of related to that in some ways, is experiencing and learning about and being exposed to things that you wouldn't usually come across. Um, so whether that's of reading or learning about a new culture or um, reading a non-fiction book and coming across ideas that you've never come across before, or even a fantasy or science fiction book that might have um, ideas or themes that you would never have thought about before. Um, especially, as I said, now that I have finished university, I love sort of coming across those things in the wild, as it were, rather than on a reading list. <laughs> Question five, which book or series got you into reading? I don't know. <laughs> I've always loved reading. Um, like always, always, always. So I don't really have an answer for this one. I'm sorry. Is it cool enough yet? Still too hot. Question six. What questions would you ask your favourite booktubers? I'm presuming this is a kind of general, what would you ask a booktuber rather than a specific question for a specific person? Um, but I'm going to say I'd ask about sort of making 
videos coming up with ideas when you just you have nothing <laughs> how do you come up with something new how do you come up with kind of fun different ways of doing stuff um also the obvious answer what's your favorite book question seven what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome time management <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that's what's gonna be the hardest is is I come up with a schedule that I think will work with my work week only time will tell um yeah finding a way to just make it a, not a huge chore and to fit it around my life in a and just slot it in just nice easy way i think that's gonna be that's definitely for me gonna be the, the hard one gonna be the trickiest one to sort question eight when did you start reading so i sort of already answered this earlier but forever <laughs> i've always loved reading since i learned to read i've loved reading um i did definitely go for like a four year reading slump at the end of school um from sort of year 10 through to year 13 when you're like hardcore exams for just four years i didn't really read very much in that time and then when i went to university because i did music at university so i got to uni and my hobby had become my work so i looked for a new hobby and i came across booktube and that got me back into reading and so i guess kind of i got back into it in 2014 2015 but definitely like on the whole forever Question nine, where do you read? Everywhere. <laughs> I feel like if you've clicked on this video, you are the sort of person who always has a book with you. I am also one of those people. This should not be a surprise to any of us. If, if I'm stuck somewhere, I'll read. But um, my favorite place to read, probably in bed, definitely in bed, is Warm and Cozy. I put a video of a fireplace up on the TV and just to read hours on end love it uh, i also really like reading in the park when it's sunny um i really wander down to the park pick a spot get my picnic blanket out and have a good read also anywhere you can see the sea that always improves a reading spot i think we might be cool enough to drink now mm, on the brink question 10 what kind of books do you like to read do you have all day? <laughs> I like to read a really wide range of books. Like I said earlier, the two things I look for in a book are escapism and kind of new experiences or ideas. So any book that has one or both of those things is generally a winner with me. Um, there are certain genres I prefer, of course. I love fantasy, um, historical fiction. I've recently kind of got more into sci-fi as well. I'll read anything queer. I'll read anything queer, any genre, it doesn't matter. The only genres I tend to just not pick up are thrillers and mystery kind of things. But again, if they're in another genre, so if it's like a fantasy mystery, I'll give it a go. I'll pick it up, I'll give it a go. A bit of everything, a nice range of things, just depends what I'm in a mood for, to be honest. Um, you know, I like sort of some contemporary books, some, some literary fiction, some poetry, some classics. I'll read it, you know. <laughs> this <laughs> i'll read it thank you very much for joining me on this new venture it's very exciting um so hopefully the next video coming your way should be my august wrap up i read a frankly insane amount in august so there'll definitely be lots to talk about there um if you'd like to let me know that you are here then you can leave a waving emoji to say hello for my first ever video down in the comments. Thank you very much everyone and I'll see you next time. Bye!